Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 286. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 285 to 294. Hey, in this trick here, we want to talk about time math and a problem that happens when somebody works from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. See, Excel thinks 2 a.m., even though you start here and you work through the night and this is a later time, Excel think this, thinks that this is an earlier time. And that causes a problem when you do time math, like figuring out how long somebody worked. Over here, we can see the decimal equivalents. As we know, time is just a format on top of a number that represents the proportion of one 24-hour day. So 10 p.m. is 0.91666 through a 24-hour day. 2 a.m. is only 0 0.083 through a 24-hour day. So let's see what happens. Let's start with a, a, a simpler example. Let's type in here, and we're going to type in in time format, 8 colon 00, 00 a.m. And here we'll say 4 colon 00, 00 p.m. And let's just do our normal time calculation a formula to calculate time, equals the later time minus the earlier time. That's how it works. This formula works great vast majority of time. And that's a format. And we want to get rid of that format. So we control 1 and go to general. You can see now I see 0.3333. And when you work 8 hours, that's 1 third of a 24-hour uh, day. Now, when you have normal time like this, you would simply take that proportion of one 24-hour day times 24. And that'll give you how many hours? Eight hours. And then you can use that number to multiply times wage, et cetera. Now, what happens when we change this to 10 PM? And when you're typing in time, you got to put the number colon, the minutes, and a space. You could put seconds, too, colon seconds. But a space, and then the PM or AM. And then now here, we're going to say 2 colon 0, 0 a.m. And there you go. That's the problem. It gives us a minus number, because Excel thinks that 2 a.m. is a much smaller number than 10 p.m., even though we know we worked it, right? 10 p.m. is earlier than 2 a.m. We work from here to here. All right, so how do we get around that? Let's uh, see by using the mod function. Let's see that it will solve the problem, and then we'll talk a little bit about it in just a moment. Equals mod. Ooh, what does the mod do? It actually needs, it says in the screen tip, number and divisor. They didn't name these arguments very well. It should be numerator and denominator, or dividend and divisor for the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction. All right, so the top of the fraction for us is going to be our time calculation, the later time minus the earlier time, comma. And the trick is we divide by 1. And that will always um, get our mod formula to spit out the right proportion of 1 24-hour day. Let's see that it works, and then we'll uh, look at why it works. Now, we know right here um, that's formatting, so I'm going to control 1. And I'm going to go to General. There's actually a keyboard shortcut, Control-Shift-Tilde. Tilde is the, the little key to the left of the number one. People that do time um, math or date math know Control-Shift-Tilde. The keyboard is Control plus Shift plus this tilde. And that uh, clears, clears number format. Very important. Uh, so I probably should put it like this. So there's the keyboard shortcut right there. All right, so we have that formula. Now, why in the world does that work? And really, the n is the um, going to be our numerator, and the d is the denominator. Hey, look, straight from help, it tells you this about the mod. This is how it's calculated. It takes the numerator, and it subtracts whatever the denominator is. Um, in our case, it's 1 times the int. Now, the integer function um, is, well, we're going to take the numerator divided by the denominator, but the integer function always goes down. So 1.5 becomes 1, but minus 1.5 becomes minus 2. 
and I have notes always have notes up here and I actually have a, a video on the int and, and how how that works all right hey since that's the algorithm let's see if we can uh, build that little algorithm in here equals whatever the n is minus the D times and then int of our n divided by D right so if you can't figure out how something works you know you help you ask someone in this case this came from help you type it in here control enter put it there oh hey look we got the right answer now let's run formula evaluator in 2007 it's under formula formula auditing formula evaluator in 2003 it's under tools formula auditing the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is alt tough T U F alt tough T U F all right so there it is we click evaluate it's got that uh, minus 0.8333 that's the the uh, amount of time we worked Wow, we worked a lot, a lot. Uh, and then it subtracts, so that's the n. But now, but before it can subtract, it has to uh, calculate the int and then uh, do the multiplying. So it goes into the int. We get the uh, minus 0.8333 divided by 1. But guess what? That's minus 0.8333. And when int evaluates this, it's got to take the integer. It always goes down. So it goes to minus 1. So watch this. We get a minus 1, which will convert this to a double negative, which really means it's this plus 1. And so that's how we get that 0.116. So that's analyzing that for the working at night till the next day. Now let's do the same thing. Um, but from 8 a.m. right to uh, 4 p.m. or something like that. I'm going to come down here and Alt T U F, and we're going to do the same thing. 0.333 minus one, but now it's got to go into the int and figure out what's going on there. It takes a 0.333 divided by one, but watch this. See here, the integer is taking 0.333333, right? And when it calculates the integer, what does it do? It has to go down, so it goes to zero, right? Zero times one gives us a zero, so we're subtracting zero from that. So that is a very clever use of the mod function for a big problem with time math. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.